Hi everybody. All right, today we are doing the roll trim motor assembly. Uh, the kit came in from Vans, and I really want to get that other wing done, so let's do this. Uh, just like any of the other trim servos, it's a Ray Allen servo, 12 volt little motor uh, attached to uh, a mechanism, and then the wires are attached to the nearest autopilot servo. Uh, okay, and I know this is confusing, so let me just tell you the way that I understand it. So the way I understand it, through the G3X system, if you have an autopilot servo attached, then the power for the trim of the same axes movement, so roll servo, roll trim motor, it actually powers the roll trim. Well, the, the trim of the same system. So like the pitch autopilot servo has the power for the pitch trim. When there's power to the system, uh, Garmin has auto trim set so that the faster you go, the slower your trim tabs move to keep you from like wildly moving back and forth, right? Um, as opposed to if you're going slow, it then moves faster. If the autopilot is actually engaged, then it handles the trim, I think. If the autopilot's not engaged or if the servos are off, power then just routes through the autopilot servos to the motor and it's a flat movement rate, I think. I have no idea. <laughs> that is just my estimation. Uh, here we are in the main hangar doing a little bit of dimpling to the brackets. So this system actually sits on one of the inspection plates and it's two angled brackets that have the motor attached to it by four screws and then it has an arm which then is attached to two springs which then are attached to two points on the uh, actual push rod, aileron push rod. I'm trying to explain that way to what. Tell you what, here's a picture of the system here from the plans. That's what that looks like, right? Uh, now, I can't really make the holes in the push rods yet, so I, I'm absolutely not going to because the instructions are very clear. Uh, put the you know the ailerons in a neutral position. Make sure your stick is neutral. Then mark the push rod so that you can figure out where to drill holes. Yeah, that's not happening until the wings are on and everything is good. So, come to find out, I really didn't need to do this. <laughs> I was all nervous about doing the trim because I thought the trim motor mounted onto the wing spar, like underneath the push rod, but it doesn't. I could have done this at any point. Uh, ignorance, again, is my own best enemy, or best friend, frenemy? Intimate, ignorance is my frenemy. Okay, let's see. Updates. Oh, yes. Engine is on its way. Well, not technically. So they've got the engines done. They've reworked the engine, new, like I said, new crankcase, all that. Uh, they put it through the test stand. Everything is running great. I had to send them back my system, as I'd explained, because, of course, it did. Uh, the engine's ready to go. They just don't, <laughs> just that their delivery van is busted, and so they're trying to procure alternate delivery. So, hell, could be here... Who knows when? Last time they just gave me a call in the middle of nowhere, like, hey, we're 15 minutes out with your engine. Like, oh, shit. Looks pretty good, right? Everything's nice and primed. And there's the little arm that sticks up, and it attaches to two springs, so. Uh, oh, what is this? Shot in my crotch. Great. Oh, it's dump week. Yeah, it's dump week, so I decided to take some stuff to the dump. Uh, Oakland Airport gives us a dump week. And then I spotted this. Who are you, little friend? Better get your plane away from that twin commander. Thing's been sitting there since I've been there. Never gonna fly again. It's gonna infect your plane with shitness. Alright, back in the hangar to do a little bit more dimpling. So, you're gonna dimple, you're gonna drill holes into the inspection plate as you can see, and then you're going to dimple those for number eight screws, which are going to hold the autopilot trim. I'm I keep saying that. The roll trim in place. 
me. Don't want to affect your aerodynamicity, do you? Aerodyn... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm ready to call this one good. Uh, in the next video, we're going to get onto the right wing. Uh, in the end here, you're going to see a little slower motion of where the system sits in the wing, so make sure to watch that. So, thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.